When the Quran enters into your heart, you will never know what is loneliness. No? You'll never, never, never experience loneliness. You say, what is that? I don't know what is loneliness. No? When the Quran enters into your heart, you will never know what is depression. No? You'll never feel depressed. What is that? I don't know about it. And one more secret. <laughs> when, when the Quran enters into your heart, you'll sleep very well. Last night in London, in the room next door, some young men were drinking and making a lot of noise. Plenty noise. And the hotel was going over it again and again to apologize to me. I said, but I don't know. I never heard anything. <laughs> I never heard anything. No, so much noise. I said, now I understand Surah al -Kaf. When the young men went into the cave, Allah says, فَضَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ أَذَانِهِمْ فِي الْكَحْفِ السِّنِينَ عَدَدَ Daraba is to hit, to hit. فَضَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ أَذَانِهِمْ Allah did something to their ears. In consequence of which they slept for 300 years. So then I realized, I said, oh... Allah sends the angels and Allah, the angel can switch off, switch off for you, the hearing. And when you are switched off, even if it's nuclear war, you won't wake up, you will sleep because it's switched off. Others will be hearing lots of things, but you will not hear. But if Allah wants you to wake up, then when you open your but there's nobody. Who is this who touched me? Who touched me? And the angels came to wake you up. Hmm? So if you recite the Quran every day regularly from cover to cover, it does something for your heart. But that's only the beginning of the story. You must know what you're reciting. If you're reciting the Quran and you never cry, the tears never fell from your eye. Why? Because you're not understanding anything that you recite. But when you begin to understand what you're reciting, how can you recite the Quran and you never cried? How can you perform Salat with Tarawih? night after night, and you never, never, never cried? Why? Because you didn't understand. That's the second stage. But there's a third stage which comes after that, when you can understand what you're reciting. And it is in the third stage that you fall in love. That's right. When you fall in love with the Quran, the greatest love of your life must be the love of the Quran. And you will fall in love with the Quran when you start to study the Quran. And you use my book at the back, Methodology for Study of the Quran. And there are millions of pearls at the bottom of the Quran, millions of pearls. And one day Allah will allow you to dive down in the Quran. And when you pick up a pearl that no one has ever seen before, Oh, how nice you will feel. That's preparation for the Malhamar.